Today is an exciting day because look what I got on the bench. <laughs> Ernie Ball Majesty. I promise to take good care of it and it will be used well for the upcoming night of worship with the encounter. But first, we need to address an issue with the guitar. This part of the neck here is too tight. Most necks have a slight concave where it's got a bit more relief for the first few frets, but this neck is a bit too straight. It's kind of like concaving out that way so that the the strings are made in contact with the frets right here. There's barely any relief at the first few frets. So we're going to try and fix that today. Let's go. This is one of those truss rod adjustment tools that's quite innovative. It's a wheel. And, and so you would turn it this way to loosen and this way to tighten, which can be counterintuitive because I think lefty loosey, righty tighty, but it's the other way around. You pull it towards you, loosens the truss rod. Let's see if a screwdriver can do the trick. Nope, I need I need a proper tool, it seems. I opened up the case and I found this in the bag, so hopefully this is the correct tool to make an adjustment. It's not gonna fit either. How was I supposed to do this? Okay, let's try another tool then. The Hail Mary, I have found my guitar toolbox and hopefully I'll be able to find something that gives me that space to put inside the... Oh! I can, I can. Okay, okay. Let's try this. Half a turn, maybe? That's still buzzing. So I think you see that there's a bit more relief at the neck, which I think that's a good thing. The strings are passing over the first two frets. There's still a bit of buzz on the first fret, but I think it'll be livable for now. Oh, much better. Nope, still buzzing. I personally like higher action because I think the guitar feels more alive because you allow the strings to breathe and vibrate much more over the frets. Yep, much less buzz. Still very playable in upper frets. 